that last game between the Cavs and the Spurs, LeBron James definitely trolled his way out of that one. He wasn't as hurt as he, he put off. Um, I don't know what's going on with him that he needs to rest. He's trying to rest. I need to rest. Man, that dude ain't been the same since he left Miami, man. Now, from what I hear, and this is all alleged, allegedly, man, he's part of that juicing ring down there. And I could tell, man, he bulked up quite a bit when he was in Miami. And then when he came back to the Cavs, he got all skinny. He was, you know, priding himself on, yeah, you know, I lost a bunch of weight, da 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 Man, nah, man, dude, juicing up, man. Dude start going bald because he was juicing up, allegedly. Juicing up, man. And uh, anyway, I was done with LeBron during... Um, last uh when they won that championship right prior to them winning um and uh he said you know draymond i think he might have tried to swing at his nuts or something like that but it wasn't until after the game somebody came up to him and told him what happened and that should have been a foul and then he made us think about it in the press conference and then all of a sudden they came back and viewed the tapes and said, yeah, we're going to suspend him. They suspended him, Draymond. The Warriors didn't have that extra strength that they usually have coming from Draymond. He gives the energy to the team and kind of leads the team to a certain degree, at least at that time. He was out the game. Cavs came in and LeBron came in and they just blew it up. They swept through the, the Warriors and then you know they, they had the final game now had Draymond not gotten suspended man he had LeBron's number man and so I, I he trolled that he trolled that situation too he trolled that championship and then um him putting that ultimate warrior shirt on when they got their trophies and stuff and came back and did that uh, that whole parade after it was done, man. LeBron's one of the biggest trolls ever, man. <laughs> he turned himself into a troll, man. I mean, when he went to Miami, he's like, not one championship, not two, but three, not four. He kept, you know, trolling, man. He, he in fact, let me say this. The decision, when he made the decision video, he trolled people. He sat on there for like 30 minutes or something like that. All he had to do was come out and say, well, look, man, I made a decision. I'm going to go to Miami to play. It was cool in Cleveland. I'm ready to go to Miami. He sat on for 30 minutes. I had to go. I had to speak to my mom. I had to speak to my friends. I had to take the time to think about it. Nah, bro, you already knew where you want to go. You're a businessman at the end of the day. You know what you want to do. You know what moves you're going to make. He ain't going to You had them all over. And nah, he trolled everybody, man. He trolled me because I was sitting there for 30 minutes like, okay, what's going to happen? What is he going to do? But then all of a sudden, <sighs> I'm taking my times to South Beach. I'm like, dude, you could have just said that in the beginning and not even have a 30-minute thing. Even though he said he gave the money, whatever he made from that announcement thing to charity, whatever. But you trolled, you trolled some money so you can give it to a charity. It's not like you, you could have just gave that money to a charity. You didn't have to do all that, man. You could have just made a, a quick announcement, kept it moving. No, you had to troll everybody to bring some effect to it. Then all of a sudden, all the people burnt up the, the jerseys. And you went to Miami, and then you was up there just swagged out, swagged out. Man... All them people that that create got handshakes with LeBron, man. Don't don't make don't don't come up with no handshakes with that dude. He trolling you, man. He trolling you for a friendship that ain't real. He a troll, man. Anyway, LeBron, stop trolling people, man. Just be you, man. Don't be a troll. Peace.